Welcome to day 9 of the Bless the Nation 50 Days of Prayer. We continue during week 2 to focus our prayer on the government and judicial spheres. We are indeed privileged to have the Chief Justice of South Africa, Chief Justice Mocheng Mocheng, share a powerful prophetic word of God's plan of restoration for our nation from Joel chapter 2. In the mighty name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior, Mokweng Mokweng is my name and it's a great, great privilege to participate in this period of 50 days of prayer and the release of blessings to our great nation, South Africa. My short exhortation and release of blessings is to be found in Joel 2, 25 to 26, which reads, and I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army, which I send among you. And you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God that hath dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never be ashamed. The people of South Africa have been ravaged by demons of racism, manifesting over the years either as colonialism or apartheid. Crime and corruption have not left them untouched. Greed and immorality and all manifestations of crass injustice has caused them great suffering for centuries now. These are the locusts, the caterpillars, the canker worms, and the palmer worms that we have just been reading about, and they have caused untold deprivation, indignity, harm to all across the racial and gender divide. We live in a beautiful country, well endowed with natural and mineral resources, and these belong to all the people of South Africa united in our diversity. But it is our rebellion to the commandments of God that made it difficult for God to prevent all these things from happening to us. We must therefore begin to pray in earnest so that the promises of God, the restoration in the word that we have just read, the satisfaction and freedom from shame and indignity can be our portion. Please use the following declarations as prayer points through which more blessings will be released to all of us in this great nation. The Lord God Almighty shall restore all our years as a nation that divers devourers have eaten in the name of Jesus. Our unity shall be restored in the name of Jesus. Our love and caring for one another shall be restored in the mighty name of Jesus. The God kind of love and Ubuntu shall be fully restored in the name of Jesus. South Africa and Africa's lost glory shall also be restored to us. We will become partakers of the overflowing wealth of South Africa in the mighty name of Jesus. We shall eat in plenty from now henceforth. We shall not be greedy, but shall all be satisfied in the mighty name of Jesus, let us magnify, exalt, and lift up the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Let us give him the glory and bless his holy name. Let us bless the Lord for dealing so wondrously with us in the name of Jesus, for our prosperity shall be restored in the name of Jesus. South Africa is emerging out of all forms of junk status in the mighty name of Jesus. Rivers shall begin to flow in everything that looks like a desert in this nation. And for that, we refer to Isaiah 43, 19. God will begin to make highways in everything symbolic of the wilderness in South Africa. Isaiah 43, 19. Receive a new beginning as the people of South Africa, in Jesus' name. Amen. Daily Prayer Guide Please continue to pronounce the three blessings from Numbers chapter 6, 24-26, Matthew 5, 2-12, and Ephesians 1, 3-4. Daily 
over South Africa. Father God, today we pray specifically for President Zuma, his cabinet members, members of parliament and the executive committee. Pour out your spirit on them. Convict them of sin, righteousness and judgment. May they respond to the love and goodness of God that leads people to repentance. May they open their hearts to receive instruction from your Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, we resist and rebuke the forces of evil that want to destroy our nation and to manipulate and deceive our leaders. We ask for forgiveness for the many sins of corruption, mismanagement, self-enrichment, injustice, dishonesty, lies, ungodly ideologies and criminal behavior in our governmental offices all across our nation. Bless our government, O Lord. Thank you for joining us today in prayer. Grace and peace to you. Have a wonderful and blessed day.